Hi everybody, I'm Mark Walters of BigFanboy.com. I'm here once again at the Dallas International Film Festival. We're getting close to the end, everyone, but we still got some really great films for you, including COG and director Kyle Patrick Alvarez here. Uh, this is interesting. This is an adaptation of uh, David Sedaris' work. First time uh, adaptation. Was there, was there any nervousness that comes when you're adapting a guy like that and trying to keep his voice? Because the one thing I keep hearing about the film is that it, it really matches his voice as well as you know being an adaptation and being you know, a film in its own right and, you know, delivering its own goods. So was there a little nervousness of that? Yeah, I mean, there was a lot. But, I mean, at the same time, the only way I remedied that was by not trying to, like, deliberately not trying to capture his voice. You know, I mean, I think in some to some degrees that's what made my approach to David different and why he sort of said yes for the first time was that um, I wanted the movie to feel like it was in his spirit. Of course, I didn't abandon it on purpose, but I also... I also made sure to not go out of my way. You know, I wanted the story in the movie to dictate what would happen and how people would speak and not necessarily try to shed that feeling of, oh, I have to deliver a David Sedaris movie. Right. Um, I hope the final product has that feeling. You know, I hope it feels kind of like maybe you read one of his stories, but at the end of the day, I, I also hope my voice is in it as much as his. Yeah. Um, you have an interesting cast, too. I mean, you've got people like Casey Wilson doing a dramatic turn uh, and, and I'm curious, like, how did that decision come about? <laughs> um, I just, I love Casey, you know, and it was someone, we needed someone to come in just for four days. And so for me, that's, it, it's a, but it's a really important part. She's kind of, she kind of plays the, the funny thing is she's like the only not funny character. In the right. Film. She's right. like the one that she's actually, you know, really grounded. And she, I just, I just love her. I think she's that, I think she's so amazing on that show. And I think that show is a perfect example. You know, for a long time, broad comedy has become an insult. Yeah. You know, and that show, I think, sort of reowned what broad comedy yeah, can be. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And, yeah, and I think it's, and it's largely because of her. Like, she just can do it, she knows how to do it so well and be so likable. And um, a director I know once told me, he said, sitcom actresses can do anything. You know, you can, like, they can, if they can do that, they can do anything. And, and I always thought it would just be interesting to get to work with her. And so yeah. it was just a good opportunity. And, and she was excited about that. Sort of an opportunity to be like, okay, wait, I've got this other side of me that I haven't, you know, people haven't seen yet. Well, yeah, comedy is, like, the hardest thing to do, really. Yeah. And so, like, if you could do that, you can do almost anything. And then Dean Stockwell, who's, like, you know, terrific, just a wonderful character actor, you know. And yeah, I mean, that was our, my goal. Everyone, part of the difficulty in raising the money for the film you know initially was that I always wanted to leave the casting door open I wanted to be able to be, bring in the kind of actors that I really respect and admire the kind of character actors whose work I really like mm -hmm. and um, and Dean you know epitomizes that he's one of these guys that's probably worked and has more credits than any other you know any other actor he started generation. when he was like a little boy his like first movie yeah, was Andrew's like Away with, yeah with, I keep thinking of the boy with the green hair he did that right yeah, after yeah, that was yeah, right and, after yeah. And, yeah and it's so it's crazy we're how, film nerds obviously yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's crazy and the funny thing was at our hotel in Portland uh, where we shot was like um, it was like Hollywood themed or something yeah. which isn't why we stayed there it was it was done somewhat tastefully but they had this big like sort of screen in the middle of the lobby and they kept on changing the posters and that poster for Anchors Away would come up. They didn't know, I don't even think, I think that was just what was there but you know, he's one of those guys he's acted forever, he has so many credits, you know, yeah. and uh, but I've always loved him, I've always loved his work so much and so it was similar to Casey, like, he, it was four days, you know, to have someone like him to come in and work for four days was like, a, it was a thrill for me. And then talk about finding Jonathan too because I mean, obviously, the, he's a big linchpin for this whole thing. If he doesn't work, then the whole thing kind of falls apart. Yeah. So, you know, how did you go about finding him for this part? Um, you know, he's, I, I, I sort of considered everybody. You know, I kind of looked at everybody. I, um, we had a really short time to cast the part. And so I, I sort of went through really quickly. Anyone who'd ever been in anything that was under a certain age, you know, that would fit the role. And I kind of went through, and then I started breaking it down to the actors that I really liked, or actors I'd seen in things but didn't know that much of. And he he kind of fell into that. Like, I'd seen him on TV, but I'd never gotten to see him on stage. And when we first met, we got along really well. Um, and he, at first, was like, well, I don't really look or sound like David. And I kind of told him, I was like, well, that's sort of my aim. Or my aim isn't deliberately to go away from that, but it's just to cast the person who's right to play the character in the film. Right. He got that, and then he was doing a play downtown Los, in downtown Los Angeles with Alfred Molina called Red, where it's just the two of them on stage for two hours. And so I went to go see that. It was like the night before closing night, the same day I met him. And he was incredible in it. And he just has this great, he has a natural charisma that he doesn't have to work for. Um, so he feels really authentic, but I, he could carry a movie. You, you know, you got that sense of he can carry a movie. And um, and I take a lot of pride in, in the casting of this film and, and my first film, you know, and... and 
you know, it's taking risks or just trusting, I think it's more trusting your instincts, you know, it wasn't, he didn't audition, you know, it wasn't anything like that, it was just a, a sense of, oh, I think this will be right, and I think he'll work really hard, because we had to shoot it really quickly, so, I, you know, he had the ethic we needed to. Well, there's that mutual trust, it's like, you have to be able to trust them, but they also have to be able to trust you to do the right thing and make everything work. You know, it's like, <laughs> and he hadn't seen my first film. We cast him, and then he watched my first film, and I was so nervous that he would watch it and be like, "Okay, wait, no, I can't do this." But unfortunately, it was the opposite. And he was—he's just incredibly gracious, and he's starring in this HBO pilot now, and he's the voice of, he's the lead voice in the new D Disney animated movie coming out this year. I just feel like he's sort of in this place where, and I hope our movie can be a part of this, where people are realizing the, the great. Sort of, he can sort of do everything, you know. And he's got like a lot. He has a lot of movie star qualities that way. But he's also um, incredibly sort of. He has a lot of depth too that you don't always see in, in actors his, his age. So. Right now, you're obviously this is no stranger to the festival circuit. You've you've done you know a couple of festivals already. But being here in Dallas, can you talk a little bit about uh, just what this experience has been like for you, and you know being able to bring this film here and everything? Because I mean, obviously, we we get a lot of feedback in terms of how people perceive our festival, and so we wanted to know, how's it been for you so far? I mean, obviously, I know you just got in last Yeah, but, <laughs> but, 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 you know, but you what's can the tell, like, I've been to, my first film, I went to like 30 film festivals with it, so you can yeah. learn a lot really quickly about a festival, and I, oh, I had wanted to bring my first film here, but it was a timing issue. We had committed mm -hmm. to a premiere, and we couldn't, and James Faust and Sarah Harris really liked it and wanted it. We wanted to, you know, participate, but it just didn't work out, and um, so this time around, I was really grateful that, you know, we were invited to come play because, I'd, it just, I really respect them and I knew that they would be putting on a good festival and I've had friends that have played here and have had a really good experience and so for me it was an opportunity, you know, I'm not trying, I, I want to, I don't want to do too many festivals with them, the, I still want I want to keep the movie fresh for audiences when it comes out in theaters so I've been really selective and um, in Dallas is, actually it's only the second festival we've played at, um, we've got a few you more were coming at up. You were Sundance? We were at Sundance, and premiered okay. and then this, so yeah. it was, so I've been really selective and it was, it was great to be here, you know, our first screening was last night and the audience turnout was really good especially for like a Wednesday night you mm -hmm. know it's not you don't you never you kind of walk in know, not knowing what to expect but we had a full theater and that's the most you can ask for and, and people stayed around for the Q&A people were engaged with the movie and those are that's a kind of rare audience that you don't always find and where do you go from here um, from here we go to I'm trying to think what we have next well we played at Sarasota which is the same same week Sarasota Film Festival it's right. playing right now and then actually I don't think I can announce the next festivals we've okay. got a, yeah they haven't announced them yet so I think I have to, but we've got a few in June and we'll you know we'll be playing in some uh, you know we'll be playing in major cities but you know at festivals and then we'll be coming out of theaters in major cities too very very cool well we appreciate you bringing this here and it's great to have you here in Dallas finally, and you know, we'll you. hopefully whenever the next one comes along, you can bring that back to yeah, us as I, well. Yeah, I, cer I, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Gal Patrick yeah. Alvarez, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Dallas International Film Festival. We'll have more information on these films at dallasfilm.org. Keep watching movies, and we'll see you there.